The pristine waters of the turquoise coast, 200 kilometers north of Perth in Western Australia, is for many an underwater and coastal paradise. It's here the Thompson family's lobster fishing story started way back in 1966. In those times, this was a remote location. Living was basic and conditions were tough. David Thompson Sr. and his three sons worked on the sea together, fishing every day of the nine months long season to make a living and learn the ways of the elusive Western rock lobster. These days, life for the Thompson family in Cervantes is very, very different. You know, times have changed. I had a 32-foot Bondwood boat from the 70s, I suppose. It's, it's evolved into more of a, a fast, efficient aluminium fleet now. With now three generations of the Thompsons involved in the industry, we knew that the only way forward for us was to vertically integrate with the catching sector and also the processing sector. We've uh, been operating in the Indian Ocean Rock Lobster now or since 2007. I still drive a boat, still enjoy driving a boat. That's a holiday to me, to go out on the ocean. When David's under pressure at the factory, well, happy to help out there. Trying to follow the footsteps of my, my dad, my uncles and my granddad to try and catch as many crays as they did. But to do that is pretty hard because they're pretty good at it. Currently, from Shark Bay in the north to Cape Lewin in the south, the fishery is divided into three zones and extends to about 60 kilometres offshore. This is the most valuable single species fishery in Australia, with an annual catch of five and a half million kilos. This means the Western Rock Lobster fishery is worth hundreds of millions of dollars a year and is responsible for one-fifth of Australia's total fishing industry catch. Here at Indian Ocean Rock Lobster, the family have invested many millions of dollars in making sure that we produce the highest quality of rock lobster produced in the West Australian industry. At Indian Ocean, crates of lobsters are brought straight to the doors from the jetty. They're weighed and registered with an impressive cache of computerised technology, so each lobster can be traced back to the boat it came from. All of the machinery you see in the factory is part of a state-of-the-art Morel food system imported from Iceland to manage the entire process. What we've got here is we've got probably the smallest lobster that you can legally take, which we class as an A size, and up to what we catch in this region of the coast of somewhere what we class as an F size. The lobster, once they're graded, they're into these live lanes each lane represent a particular weight category that they're in. And as soon as we get an order, the guys will be told to bring them out of lane. We've got 18 lanes, we bring them out of the segregated lane that they correspond to for the order. The live holding lane's holding capacity is around 20 metric tons of live lobster. So you're seeing about 20,000 kilos of live lobster. Water is always taken fresh directly from the pristine waters of the marine park out the front of the facility. We're very fortunate in our processing factory to be right smack in the middle of an A-class marine park. It took a long time for us to get all the government approvals and it is very stringently managed. Lane checks also become an important part of caring for the lobsters while they're in the processing facility to ensure a top quality export. The lobsters are kept in lanes without food for a minimum of three days before they can be exported live. This process is known as purging. So they have excreted all of the bait and whatever else that they may have brought in with them. We find then that they're in a more healthier state, they're more settled, and they're ready to be shipped live. They're in a healthy, happy state. Once the lobsters have been inspected, graded and purged, they're ready to be exported live. This is what we call the live packout area. Now what actually is happening now is the stock is coming from our live lanes and then we bring it into here 
and the production team over here right now are checking the quality of the lobster that if it's uh, in a situation where it's quality's high enough to go live. Okay, what I'm looking for is strength. Just make sure they're strong enough to go overseas. And then they're put on a set of scales behind me as well where she'll check the tear weight against a number count as well. When she's happy with both of those, she'll register that on those set of scales. That will go into our computer system and be registered as a, a pack out weight and number. So our client can then have it emailed to them, showing the exact dates, boxes, counts, everything. Export is about top quality. If lobsters at this point are chosen as fit to go, they're placed in the black crate, sitting on the scales and recorded in the computer system. After they've been in the stun tank and drained, they're ready for the packing process. Lobsters not bound for export are turned into other products, but they are still of the highest level of quality, so important to Indian Ocean Rock Lobster and their retail brand, Cervanti Seafood. Cooking and freezing is a march against time, as the quicker this process happens, the better the taste. What we do is we have a continuous belt steamer, which is unique in the industry. It's approximately 42 feet long. Now, the gentleman behind me that's loading the kibbles, they are actually going in a controlled environment. Unlike when you boil a lobster where you have no control over the cook, the steam process, everything is controlled. It's computer controlled. So our chilling process is unique as well. We use salt water from the ocean and we run that down to zero degrees. So the lobster are actually cooked at approximately 92 degrees C, and then they're actually taken straight into the zero degrees water. It makes us totally unique. I mean, the lobster, from the research that we've done, unless you go and catch it yourself and eat it one minute later, you're never gonna have anything as sweet and as tasty as what we're producing. Back in the packing area, attention to detail is behind every move to ensure these lobsters arrive in top condition. They're into then what we call the packing stage where they have a pine shaving, not pine wood chips, actually pine specifically made shavings. They put a layer of pine wood shavings on the bottom of the polystyrene esky, then they put a layer of lobster. Also what the pine shavings do is they insulate the lobsters if it happens to have a broken limb or it's bleeding, or excreting water, it actually allows it to soak up that moisture because it sends the box toxic and it can kill its neighbours. So after the girls have done that, the gel pack's fitted in the box, one of the guys turns around and he will put the lid on and strap it. We uh, actually pack our live lobster into two different size eskies. One is what we call as a 15 kilo esky, which mainly goes into mainland China. And then we also pack into a nine kilo esky, which goes into other parts of the world. Once the boxes are packed, they're weighed again and checked off the order. After the live lobster are packed, we put them on the scales, we weigh them, we put them on the pallets, we shrink wrap them, and then they go off to export. They go down on the truck at held at a, around about plus 14. You cannot take them down too low in the truck because it'll kill them. And of course, if it's too hot in the refrigerated truck, they'll die as well. These lobsters are taken straight to the freight forwarding company adjacent to Perth International Airport, a three hour drive, and loaded onto planes, which take this delicate and precious export to locations such as Japan, Hong Kong, China, Taiwan, and Europe. At Indian Ocean, over 95% of all lobsters brought in are processed as live. A family business, three generations of experience in the lobster industry, unique Australians who've made their mark on Western Australia's turquoise coast and the live lobster export industry on a national level. Indian Ocean Rock Lobster looks forward to many more years of providing you and your company with their second to none export, the Western Rock Lobster. <laughs>